welcome back everybody in the last lesson we uh, looked at uh, test scenarios that primarily involved uh, the get method of http in this lesson we are going to look at uh, we are going to run test scenarios involving the other three frequently used uh, http methods namely post put and delete uh, if you look at karate documentation, uh, if you look at the methods that it supports, you can see it supports uh, most of the HTTP verbs out there, get, post, put, delete, patch, options, head, connect, and trace. But I think the first four are the most widely used. We have already looked at get, and in this lesson, uh, we'll take a look at post, put, and delete. Uh, more specifically, uh, I think uh, I think uh, I think we will look at uh, creating a post uh, then we will look at updating a particular uh, post and then we will also try and delete uh, a particular post so uh, these are three uh, scenarios uh, we'll try and run uh, through karate tests right uh, so first is uh, creating a resource that is creating a post let's head back to uh, our, our feature file let's start with scenario uh, in here we want to create a post uh, so, so if you look at this uh, a javascript code that they have provided uh, you you need to provide a body uh, body will essentially contain uh, the details of the post that you want to create and you also provide a header and uh, once it is successfully created you get a json back and this is what we will uh, assert on right so uh, i think we already have let's just start by copying this particular scenario uh, instead of saying verify post i'll say verify that new post can be created right and the path is still posts so if you look at this uh, you're still calling the posts path and then you're providing uh, the detail in the request body uh, so the first thing you can say is path is still uh, all right url uh, it will pick up uh, just when the background code runs just before the uh, scenario is run uh, I, so in the header i don't want uh, to use transaction id i'll use this content type header uh, so what I'll say is this is the header and I'll say this is the value that I'm expecting uh, so we have taken care of that uh, there is no query parameter in this case I'll delete that and uh, of course the method is post and uh, typically when you uh, create a new resource uh, you get a 201 request that is a resource uh, created uh, response uh, what else we got uh, we need to use the body so i'll just copy it as is and the way to pass the body is to is uh, to use the request uh, object and uh, and the way i can uh, pass the body is uh, just use uh, a json object here uh, just like last time uh, because it's a multi-line uh, variable i use this uh, uh, three uh, quotation marks and i'll use the body that i just copied uh, you see uh, uh, this part here the, this is not exactly a json string uh, what it uh, uh, if it were a json string you would find the keys also wrapped inside quotes when the keys are not wrapped inside code but only when the value is uh, you know that's a json object and uh, because uh, karate handles <coughs> json object natively you don't have to provide uh, codes around uh, the key even in the uh, last examples uh, we did use uh, uh, codes around keys so uh, it's, it's your choice you can either choose to use it or uh, not use it uh, so even if you uh, chose not to use quotes around keys, it would have worked perfectly fine and we'll, we'll see that uh, in, in this scenario as well. So, uh, alright, so 
I've uh, used the right path, I've provided the header, I've provided the body, and I'm saying it's a post request, and uh, that uh, the status should be 201. Uh, in response, I will not receive an array. Let's ship, let me just run this test first. And we pick this up and it passes, very good. Now, uh, but it also says that I should expect this response back, right? And I can assert on the exact response as well. So just like last time, I can say assert response is equal to equal to this. Uh, again, I can choose to have it in one line, in which case I wouldn't need the quotes. Uh, and that is it. And in this case, I wouldn't use the markers like string uh, for title and string for body because in this case, I want to know specifically that the body and the title is exactly the, uh, the one that I provided in the request body. So uh, I will specifically assert on the right values. Uh, so in this case, uh, uh, I'm passing user ID as one. That's why user ID is one, title is foo and body is bar. But I wouldn't actually know what the ID is. It would depend on, uh, because this is based on row ID, uh, I, I, it would vary all the time, right? So the next time that I uh, call uh, call a post, uh, it would be 102, right? So I wouldn't know the exact ID. What I can do is just like last time, I can say I can use this marker saying uh, it could be any number and uh, that should be fine. Uh, and let me try and run this. Uh, it has failed. Why did it fail? What does it say? Oh, I did not use the match keyword. Sorry. And let me run it again. And it has passed this time uh only uh think the the fact that i'm using this dummy or fake apis uh the resource will not actually be created on the server so ideally i could have after this uh, was created i could again run a, a get uh, api call and verify that foo and bar still exists that is uh, called as reading after the writes uh, in this case, I'm not reading after the write. I'm just validating the response that was uh, received as part of the post request itself because uh, the read that is validating again with an get API would fail anyway because this is a fake server. But I guess that's all right. You could, um, if you're working on a live uh, server and, uh, and an actual uh, 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 application, uh, you sh it's, it's a good idea to also validate it with a get request. Uh, moving on. I think let us now go and check the put request uh, that is updating a resource. In this case, I'm updating the post ID one with this title and with this body, right? So I have already created a get request uh, for a particular post ID. I'll just copy that and say verify update update on this particular path works, right? So I already have the post ID, I know the path. Uh, so I've used, the, I use the path uh, through the variable. In here, uh, it, it, it is a put request now. And unlike uh, post request, you would still receive a 200 status, so that is fine. Uh, I will come back to the response uh, in a second, but before making the put request, I need to provide the body and I can just copy it from, uh, the previous scenario and I'll just use it as is just to make it different I'll make this as foo one bar one maybe user ID is 11 and now uh, again I, I did not use a contains here I can just use equal to equal to you remember contains is to be used only when you want to match a part of the response in this case I want to match the response exactly I'll just use this uh, in this case, I'm saying the title should be foo1, uh, body should be bar1, uh, user ID should be 11. In this case, I specifically know which uh, post ID I'm talking about because that is the one I'm updating. And just like last time, uh, I could use uh, uh, the UID 
uh, directly in the post. I think I use it somewhere. Ah, here it is. So instead of instead of just saying one here, I could just reuse the uh, uh, the variable that I'd used uh, to assign that post ID to. If I save this and run it again, it passes. So we have covered the push re put request as well. And finally, let's cover the delete scenario. Uh, in this case, I would want to delete this particular post. And I will simply copy this to start with and verify that delete on this particular thing works. I need this as post ID, path is all right. Uh, I don't want anything in the request body because uh, I just want to delete. In this case, I just say delete uh, status expected is 200. I don't think it was sends any response back. And, uh, and like I said, uh, if you were testing this uh, on a good server, uh, after testing this, you could also send a get request again, that is read after write and verify that, uh, you know, get also returns a 404 uh, the next time 404 is resource not found and it would not be found because you have deleted the response but in my case because it's a fake server uh, it, it wouldn't work so I would just uh, test the delete response and in this case let's see if it uh, go, uh, goes through and like you said uh, it passes so I send this delete request on post 1 I get 200 result uh, status back body is empty as was expected and the test passed so that is it i think we covered uh the most frequently used http verbs uh people also use uh, like uh, in your application you might also find patch being used sometimes uh but i think this should, this should cover you for like 99 percent of your test cases uh anyway that is it for now uh, i'll see you in the next lesson thank you